Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. As we continue our evening with actor French Chaton, we have a film that pairs the actor born in Niagara Falls, New York, with the San Antonio-born actress who would soon be Mrs. French Chaton, and that's the great Joan Crawford. It's a film made in 1934, the time in which Joan Crawford's career was primarily made up of rags to riches stories. That's the way her fans, and there were millions of them, seemed to like her best. They enjoyed seeing Joan rise from working as a waitress to becoming a society babe, or watching her start in a tenement laundry room and ending up in a drawing room on Park Avenue. Well, next we have Joan as Sadie McKee, one of the best of Joan's travels from basement to penthouse. Joan Crawford and Fran Chateau had met for the first time late in 1932, while they were making the movie Today We Live, which was directed by Howard Hawks and co-starred Gary Cooper. Tone was from New York's Upper Circle, the young veteran of Broadway stage and everything that implied. He'd only recently come to Los Angeles, and when he met Joan Crawford, he'd ask her for some advice on how do you survive in Hollywood. Well, she was charmed by that and by him, and they actually became great to each other and a great help to each other. He taught her about culture and society. She taught him about close-ups and studio politics. And while they were filming this next movie, Sadie McKee, they were falling in love. That was obvious to everyone around them. Over the next few years, after they were married, Tone had roles, big and small, in other Joan Crawford movies, a total of seven, eventually. That, unfortunately, is what doomed their marriage. She remained a big star. He never did become one, at least not one of her stature. But with our movie, we bring the two of them together in happy times. In 1934, the year before they were married, and they're joined by Gene Raymond in this movie, and also Edward Arnold. And it was directed by Clarence Brown. Here's a film about a gal named Sadie McKee.